Andrew Darlington here, Veritas Risk Management Insurance Services. So yes, I am dressed in my hiking garb today. And the reason I'm dressed in my hiking garb is that I just went on a backpacking trip uh, with my son AJ on the Appalachian Trail. And as I was hiking, I thought about how insurance comes into play when it comes to backpacking and hiking. In a minute, we'll talk more about that. Let's go to auto insurance. So number three, what would be another thing that would cause a, a claim? And a lot of people you might think, okay, so how's that, how's auto going to come into play? Well, I was talking to a client the other day and they went hiking and I think it was the AT, but I can't remember what she said, but they went hiking. They left their car. When they came back, their car had been vandalized. Uh, some, there's evidently a rash of robberies for people at a ranger station, they go into the car and they take out the catalytic converter. So they take out the catalytic converter, rip up some stuff, and then take everything out of the car and steal it. And that was actually a, a auto claim because of some damage there. Uh, you back up and you hit someone in the parking lot. You hit another car in the parking lot. A lot of people think about those things, but those are things that come into play. So stuff gets stolen from your car. Generally speaking, your auto insurance will have limited coverage for things that are stolen from your car. Generally, that's going to be a homeowner's claim. So you have something stolen from your car, that's a home claim and an auto claim. Some policies, if you bundle, if you have a homeowner's claim and an auto claim together, they'll actually waive one of the deductibles. And so a lot of people don't realize that. So if you have all your gear in the car and you have a home claim and it's damaged in an auto claim, then you actually have one deductible. If you have it bundled, another reason you save money, plus you only have one deductible on that. The last thing to think about from auto insurance is a lot of times, like we went from Damascus down to Dennis Cove, Damascus up in Virginia down to Dennis Cove around Hampton. And so what we did is we took uh, one car, we parked at Dennis Cove, drove up to Damascus, had the other car there. And so you had to carpool a little bit. Well, if we have a wreck and we hit someone, we're carrying people with us. And so we have a liability for damage to those people. If we're in a wreck and we cause them to go in the hospital or something like that, my auto insurance is going to protect me when they sue me. Now, it may be your best friend, it may be your cousin, it may be your uncle uh, that really likes you and would never, ever, never sue you. But the problem that you get is when they go to the hospital and they have Blue Cross or United and they say, why are you in the hospital? Blue Cross United is going to say, why are we in the hospital? And you're going to put down, I was in a car wreck. And they're going to say, tell me about this car wreck. Because they want the money back and they can come back after you, even though your uncle doesn't want to see you. They can't prevent Blue Cross from doing it. One of the biggest claims that we had was uh, someone got injured at a uh, someone's house. They were supposed to be burning some, br some brush at someone's house. And um, instead of using kerosene to burn the brush, they used gasoline. And you probably know where I'm going. Gasoline gives fumes. The fumes were catch on fire. And so he lit a match, threw it on it, and it lit him up. And he had third degree burns, was actually flown down to uh, Atlanta. And Blue Cross was paying the bills. And they said, what happened? And started asking questions. It turned into a very large homeowner's claim, about half a million dollars. The people did not want to sue, and they weren't going to. But Blue Cross said, hey, we want our money. Someone else is at fault. So they went ahead and sued them. And so our homeowner's claim actually had to pay that whole claim because of, of that situation. So again, not necessarily you can't prevent it, but that's where insurance comes into play. So again, while I'm hiking down a lot of miles on the AT and not sleeping because I'm shivering half to death, it's interesting to think of how insurance plays in things you don't expect it. I mean, everybody thinks about uh, the, the house that burns down in the middle of the night or, or those types of things, but it's actually broader than that. So you want to make sure you have someone on your side that's taking care of you, that's talking to you about your exposures, what's going on to make sure you are covered properly, because you might think, oh, I just need a hundred thousand dollars of liability. There's no big deal there. But in reality, there's a lot more exposure than you might think. And hiking is one of those things that ends up being one of those exposures. So Andrew Darlington Veritas Risk Management Insurance Services, call us 423-292-4142. We'd love to help you go over what you've got, help explain where you might have deficiencies, where you might be overinsured. And uh, you can also find us online, veritasrm.com, or just message us. Uh, whatever platform you're looking at us on, there's a message you can hit us as well. Happy to help in any way we can.
Until next time, God bless.